Hi everybody, welcome back to my family's channel, The Happy Healthy Vegans. I'm Stephanie and today I'm going to be making a Texas barbecue brisket, uh, seitan, from Allergy Licious, I believe the name is, on Pinterest. So we're going to try this. This is something I've never made. I have made quite a few different seitan dishes, but I've not tried this brisket, so we're going to go for it. All right, let's go. All right, so we're going to start with two cups of Vital Beat gluten, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast I'm gonna pour in here. Then we have a bunch of spices here. I have one tablespoon of sm smoked paprika, a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, and turmeric, as well as one teaspoon of salt and that's going to go in here and we're going to whisk this together all right for now for the second part we're going to be adding one and a half cups dark beer the recipe reckon uh suggests guinness so that's what i purchased and we're going to put this is one can of jackfruit, young jackfruit in brine. And what I did was use a cheesecloth. I got this helpful hint from Advent Guard Gaz Oakley. I watched him quite a bit and he put his can of jackfruit in a cloth and squeezed all the water out. It actually gives it a chance to absorb any flavors that you might add to it after. And then I just pulsed it in my food processor for I don't know, 10, 15 times. I just added two tablespoons of olive oil and now I'm adding two tablespoons miso paste, red miso paste and two tablespoons of vegan margarine. I'm also adding two tablespoons liquid smoke as well as one tablespoon of soy sauce and two tablespoons of vegan Worcestershire sauce, which I've made actually myself and I can Add the link below. We're going to just mix this up. Okay, now I'm adding this wet mixture into my dry and I'm going to mix that up until it's well blended and dough like consistency. Okay, so I decided to add another third cup of vital wheat gluten because this is actually not really coming together as a dough. So I'm adding another third cup and hopefully this will work. Okay, so that third of a cup seemed to help and getting my hands in there also seemed to help. So I have more of a dough ball now. Jackfruit keeps kind of falling off, but that's okay. Once you put this on your pan, you're going to just stick it all together and it should cook together. So hopefully you've got your oven heating at 350 degrees because I forgot to tell you to do that. And uh, now I'm going to line a pan with some parchment paper and uh, get this ready to cook. All right, now we're going to transfer this to the pan. So the recipe says you want to shape it like a brisket. I never cooked brisket a day in my life, so I and I never was one to like it, so I don't know what a brisket looks like, but she said 10 inches long and about an inch and a half thick, so we're just going to kind of spread this out. You can see it's kind of dough-like. It's got some random pieces of jackfruit. Okay, so now I have a rub to put on as well. It is one tablespoon white ground white pepper one teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon of sugar, and yeah. So we're gonna mix that up and pour about half on this side, shake it out, and we're gonna kinda rub it in like I guess you would a regular brisket. Then we're gonna flip it around and do the same. Okay, this has been all rubbed both sides. I'm going to be putting it in my oven for 40 minutes and then the recipe does suggest that if you want to do 
like three to five minutes on each side on the barbecue or grill pan. You can with some barbecue sauce. I did buy some Guinness actual type barbecue sauce for this, but I'm just gonna, when this is done in 40 minutes, add the barbecue sauce to it and then put it back in the oven. So. Okay guys, here is my finish Texas barbecue brisket. Did a few slices, sliced kind of tough like I guess would meat would, and now I'm going to give it a try. Mm. Pretty good. Sweet. Don't think I'd use that same barbecue sauce again. But it's not bad. Has like a chewy consistency. Nice meaty texture. Thumbs up. Give it a try.